Symphony of the Mountains continues to step up to help those in need. They held a benefit concert last week and this weekend during their performance, they are inviting those affected to being their guest for an evening of beautiful music. Joining us now with more, Cassidy Lester. Cassidy, great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I was looking at your schedule. I was glad you could fit us in. You guys have been <laughs> so busy, really stepping up and really springing into action, even, even coming up with a concert. Yes, yeah, after one week of prep, we, we threw the benefit concert on Tuesday, um, and it was an enormous success. We've raised over $28,000 um, that'll go directly to supporting our musicians who were negatively impacted by the hurricane, as well as to the United Way of East Tennessee Highlands. So we're very thrilled to see the, the community coming together to support such a great cause. Yeah, and this hit really close to home for you guys. It did, it did. A lot of our musicians were, were affected directly, so. So very passionate about what you are doing. And then also you are taking the orchestra and going out into some of these shelters this yes. week. Yes, yeah, so as part of our ongoing Paths to Dignity project, uh, we're uh, this week going to places that are also providing warm food. Um, five uh, local um, outreach centers this week and performing um, little duets and quartets and trios for them um, as part of this ongoing project. And then this weekend, they're invited to come for free to our concerts to just enjoy music and relax for a little bit and let the, the peace. That, and that's one thing that is so true. When you are in that live music venue and you hear that music, it is therapeutic. Yes. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's healing. It's wonderful to hear the music and then to hear the stories behind it and, and kind of bring that camaraderie into focus. You also, at this weekend's event, you've got some, some drives taking place as well. Yes, yeah, so this weekend we're doing a donation drive for cold weather essentials, hats, scarves, socks, blankets, anything um, that will provide warmth. And we'll be pay taking those up um, at the Paramount Bristol and then uh, the Kingsport Farmers Market to distribute to the local shelters as a, another part of this initiative. That's wonderful. And of course, a beautiful concert planned. You guys have been working on this one for a while. Yes, yeah, so crossing time um, in a one hour concert, we're gonna be spanning three centuries. Um, so we'll have Baroque, we'll be playing Bach, uh, one of his most famous um, orchestra overtures with our principal flautist, uh, Nancy Bingham uh, Schneelich, is gonna be um, the soloist. And then um, we'll be playing uh, Mozart's famous symphony. Um, and the first movement is something that you'll recognize. And then we'll go into, and that's the classical period. Um, and then contemporary, we'll have a new piece by a, a young uh, female composer. Um, and it's, uh, it's a really cool piece to listen to. And so it's um, three different time periods and we get to hear uh, how the music has kind of transformed over time. How neat. Mm -hmm. And I love that you said some of these you're going to recognize. I feel like a lot of people think that they don't, may not be familiar with this kind of music, but it is used in so many different ways that, oh, I know this. Absolutely, absolutely. And so that first movement of the Mozart is something that you've probably heard before. You just don't realize it. What does it mean for the orchestra to be able to come together and help the community as well as some of the members within the orchestra in this way during this time? We are um, an organization, we, yes we're an orchestra, but we're an organization that is here for the community. We are, um, every, we are invested in every bit of it, every part, and we want music to be accessible to everyone. So students with the free ticket program, um, the unsheltered are welcome to come to our concerts for free, and we want music to be accessible for everyone. I love that community outreach and two big performances coming up this weekend. Let's give everybody the information. They will be performing on Saturday and on Sunday. Of course, Saturday's performance will be held there in Bristol at the Paramount Center for the Arts. And then on Sunday, they are over there in Kingsport at the Farmer's Market. For more information, you can always check out their website, symphonyofthemountains.org.